What is going on guys? Caleb here and I'm gonna show you how to screencast your Nexus 7 device or any rooted Android device um, without a camera. You can see two images at the moment. One of them is my actual camera. Um, you can see my finger but the other one is the actual screening the screen of that device. Um, I'm going to show you how to achieve this in this tutorial. First of all, what you're going to need is your Nexus 7. It has to be rooted. It doesn't have to have a custom ROM. You're going to need a laptop or some kind of computer uh, or other Android device. You can actually screencast it to another Android device. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First, you're going to want to go to the Android market and search for the app for the mirror op receiver you're actually actually you're supposed to do the sender you can so what this is is it's um, mirroring your device and sending it to another device I believe it might be using the VNC protocol so now that you have that app you're gonna wanna go to your desktop or alternative Android device. Now if you are <clears throat> gonna do it from an Android device you can just go to the Google Play Store and that other app that I was showing you um, called Mirror OP Receiver. You install that and run it while your Nexus 7 is running the sender. Keep in mind they have to be two different um, devices. So otherwise if you're on a desktop I'm recording this on Valentine's Day so you know, woo -wee. Um, you're gonna wanna search oh, that's distracting you're gonna wanna search your OP receiver <clears throat> so, so you're gonna click the first link um, and you know this is a simple website Assume you know how to do stuff on a computer, it's not that hard, you know. So once that is finished downloading, you're going to want to unzip it and run the installer. Now you've got it downloaded, you'll extract it. Just take a few seconds. Then you run this setup, I've got it already installed, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It does everything almost automatically. Um, you probably are going to want to make a desktop icon just for easy access. Now that you've got that installed, um, I have my icon here in this folder. Um, so you just run mirror op um, and then you've got this blank kind of screen. You can't really do anything. Nothing happens. So that is when we go back to the so you're going to want to run the Miro P Sender app on your Nexus. It uh, finds all of the receivers on the network, so you have to make sure that the Nexus 7 and your receiver are on the same network. And you, it finds it. If it doesn't, just keep searching, and if it doesn't find it still, then you're doing something wrong. Um, then you select it, uh, and then you click play. And there you go. Now you've got yourself a screencast. As you may notice, it's a little bit buggy. I'm going to have to orient it a couple times before it will orient correctly. But there you have it. So now that you have this installed, you can explore it a little bit. Um, when I do screencasts, I go to settings and into developer options, and then I make sure that this show touches is checked or else oops wrong button uh, see now you can't see where my touches are now you can um, another kinda cool thing you can do is you can actually control the device with your mouse um, you can do essentially anything uh, you can go up here google now and you can type so after, that, uh, after you've explored that a little bit, 
Now we're going to learn how to do the actual screencast and record what's on the screen. You're going to want to go to Google or uh, your browser and search Screencast-O-Matic. It's a really easy screen recorder. You can actually screen record just from the actual website. Um, it's an applet and so it doesn't require a real download. I downloaded it myself so that I have easy access to it even offline. So you just click download and install or start recording and both steps will let you record it. <coughs> this way, this is my favorite screen recorder that's free. Um, it shows clicks. Um, it's pretty simple and it's really easy to start and stop really easily. So. So once you have your screen recorder of your liking up, all you have to do is put the mirror OP window, this one right here, um, in the frame so that it looks best. So essentially like this, so that there's no border and it really just seems like the actual screen and, and nothing else. Here's just a little demo. And it really honestly all depends on uh, your Wi-Fi signal of both your sender and receiver. Again, you can do this with two Android devices, but to record, um, that's best to do on a Windows machine. So, I mean, this this isn't very smooth right now. Uh, it's definitely not as great as it could be, like the Google developers conferences where they can actually do it smoothly. But there's no tools yet, at least as good as this which is fine for making tutorials like this one or whatever you please and just a side note there are a lot of recording apps on the play market and before you try any of them I already have and there are problems with the Tegra 2 and 3 GPU or whatever it is and so it really just doesn't record anything. I think it records the bootloader or something like that. Weird. So don't waste your time trying. This is the only way I've actually found that works and a couple of other VNC servers but this is the best and most straightforward of all of them.